hello guys i hope you are doing good welcome to this new video today we are going to solve a programming question which is usually asked to st ones and the freshers so the problem statement read as we have to create a possible auto incrementer in javascript so in vanilla javascript which takes an initial value and steps as input and increments the initial value with the given steps every second the incrementer can be paused and resume back so basically we will be given a initial value let's say 0 and steps let's say 10 and on every second when we start the timer the count will increase so it will go from 10 20 30 40 because the step is uh, it should increment by 10 and then there is option to pause the timer or stop the timer stop the timer and then again when we click on the start timer it should resume from where it has stopped so i have solved a similar kind of problem in react but this question is specifically for the javascript so uh, this was the initial question that i got my hand on on the web and through this uh, the react question i derived so let's solve this one also because you can be asked these types of question for the freshers or ht ones so reading the problem statement let's start implementing the solution so here we have to create let's say incrementer that will take initial value let's say zero and steps let's say by default it is one so we'll start from zero and we'll increment by one these are the default values applied to the function you can also uh, so this function can also accept the arguments if the arguments are not passed while invoking so it will take this default values and here we'll create a closure so we created a variable and that variable stores the value of the initial and then we are using another variable interval id to store the interval so why do we require to store the interval because we have to pause the uh, timer so we'll run this function through set interval and on every second we'll increment the count but also uh, in the clear interval we'll clear the timer id and then we reset it to null again when we resume the timer it will again pick the new timer id and it will be stored in this variable so let's say const start timer and this will be a function and here we say if interval id equals to equals to null that means if it is not already running and it's not already holding a value of a timer then only initialize the set interval and inside that what we'll do is we'll run it every second thousand and here we'll print the count and after printing we'll increment it by the number of steps that are given so this is the start time function and outside this we'll have stop time so timer sorry timer this is also timer and this will also be a function and in this what we'll do is we'll run clear interval so clear interval is the uh, method provided by javascript using which we can stop the running timers all we have to do is we have to provide the timer id to it so that it can stop that particular timer so here we'll pass the interval id and then at the end we'll reset the interval id to null so after clearing we'll reset the interval id to null so that when we resume the timer by invoking this function again it should run this logic and the check and then it should again start the interval at the end we'll return both the functions start timer and stop timer so here i am returning an object and that object will have these two methods so 
that every time a fresh instance is created for this incrementer uh, these two methods will be available so this is the one way or you can you know declare the function a normal function and then you can directly attach this so that will also work so let's see if it is working or not so let's say let timer object and then the incrementer will start with 0 and on each step will increment by 10 and here we say timer object dot start timer because this is a method so we are invoking it so we are using the period operator to access the method and then we are invoking this so if i run this you will see that it will start printing so 0 10 20 every second it's printing a new value and let's say i run a set time out and i say that the timer object should stop the timer after 5 seconds so let me run this again clear this and see that 0 10 20 30 40 and then it stopped so it started from 0 and it has stopped on the 40 so on the 5 counts that is after 5 seconds it has stopped and if I run this again so let's say set time out and then I run this again on the 6th second so it will resume back so if i start this uh, sorry run the application again you will see that it will start from 0 go till 40 take a pause for one second and then it will resume back so 50 60 70 so it's working perfectly fine i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time